of parts in for the RDs. Uh, still waiting on some. Uh, we're waiting on tires. I'm waiting on an oil cap for the RD350, uh, some jets for the RD350, and uh, there's a few other things as well. But anyway, we got the fuel pet cocks in here. So this is a little bit different style than what originally came on these bikes, but it's supposed to be the better one. So we'll find out. Uh, also got some tubes for the tires that we're waiting on. And got some jets here for the RD350. So I'm going to try out the 200 main in that thing. Uh, today, the game plan is just get one of the fuel petcocks on to the RD250 here. Get some fuel line on it, and I guess we can test ride it around the yard or something, maybe. But yeah, we'll do that. And may tinker around with this thing some. Get some of this wiring here reconnected and taken care of. Um, and yeah, we'll do uh, just basic prepping to uh, try to see if we can get this thing started. Uh, possibly in this video. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. The RD350 has come a long way, but unfortunately, we may be taking some steps back. Uh, there's tons and tons of little stuff that needs to be taken care of because this thing ready. I still need to read all the caliper, basically. Or just try out the new pad, see if it's gonna work or not. Need me a spring for expansion chambers. Uh, like I said, the carb situation at the moment is not looking great because the needles are super small compared to the size of jets that I need in this thing. So I'll have to get a new needle jet, jet needle. Uh, I do still need a new pilot jet. I've got the main swapped out with two tins, but like I said, the Jet needle is just way too small diameter for that big of a jet, so <sighs> yeah, just a bunch of little stuff. But the RD350 here has brand new condensers, brand new points, and that's the only thing stopping 250 from being a good rideable bike. Because if you watched the last video on this thing, it was running, but sometimes on just one cylinder, uh, yeah, that's because the heel on the points which is this right here, the part that rides on the cam. Uh, it's just wearing away. Like, you will ride it maybe one time or two times and it start cutting out on you. On the number one cylinder, because it's eating away at that heel so much and closing that points gap up. But we're gonna swap over the, all the new stuff from the 350 to the 250 because that thing has a title and we can actually get it registered and ride it around and stuff. Hopefully within the next week but we do also have some new electronic ignitions coming in which is the neutronic systems they completely get rid of the points and i think condenser also maybe not the condenser but it does get rid of the points comes with the cdi and stuff so we'll be running that on the 350 and the 250 here in the future i think that's the game plan for now. I am going to start this thing up one last time before I take these points off here. Uh, yeah, so let's start her up. Hopefully it'll start for me. Anyway. <laughs> let's start up find out. Lots of carb issues that still need to be taken care of on it. You can see what I mean by it needing those springs now. Uh, just spewing unburnt fuel everywhere because it's running too rich because of the jetting and needle issues we're having. But anywho, yeah, let's take those points off the 350, throw them on the 250, and let's get a ride on this thing today. Okay, we've got the points and condenser swapped out here now so this is my next oh well i'm gonna have to 
Yeah, that'll work. I wanted to get that away from the cam there, but anywho, um, I'm gonna have to set the timing on it again, so I've got the points still loose here. So I'm gonna grab my dial gauge, pull the plug out of this cylinder here. Yeah, yeah. And we will set this thing in time and see if it runs better. Well, that is definitely a good investment. We got the moon tune on her now, boys. 1.8 millimeter for top bed center. And she is uh, running pretty good. Okay, since the RD250 is running good now and everything, uh, waiting on tires, those will be in tomorrow, so I'll probably take those off a little bit later, but until then, I'm going to pick up where I left off on the YDS7 250 here, and I've gotten the wiring pretty well good to go. Uh, there is a couple different things, like for the blinkers in the front, and then this one ground right here, or power, yeah, ground. I'll have to get that situated eventually but uh, I'm gonna have to take the carburetors off clean those out really well and also I'll probably end up just taking the side cover off of here uh, so that I can well I mean I have to so that I can swap out the condensers but yeah we'll get the new points on there and hopefully get this thing good to go I'll probably swap the RD350 tank onto this thing uh, I'm gonna have to pick up some CLR to remove on the rust inside of this tank but yeah we'll uh see if we get this thing running this episode let's go a little bit change plans we got our tires in got our tubes there uh, that uh rd250 is you know looks like she's uh, <laughs> been robbed of her parts but yeah Got the chain and wheels off there, so I'm going to take this stuff up to a local motorcycle shop. Hopefully they have a tube for the rear tire, because I just realized we got the wrong size for the back. But uh, anyway, yeah, we will get those swapped out. Hopefully they have a tube for the back one. And yeah, once we get those back, or once I get back from that, it'll be a couple hours. I'll probably throw that thing back together. Hopefully, we'll get to take it on a little bit of a ride. And, yeah, then I'll get back to this thing. It's, uh, it's not going anywhere, so I will be back. That ended up taking pretty much all day. It's like 8 o'clock at night now. Uh, I was on the phone for like an hour with one of my buddies talking about this car here. But, anyway, these tires look pretty cool. Um... I got a feeling I'm gonna like these tires. But anyway, got them back now, so I'm gonna get everything prepped and ready to be reinstalled. And hopefully we can take this thing for a test ride. Tomorrow, it looks like the weather is calling for some rain. So, I don't know, hopefully we'll get a break where we can get some riding in. Uh, until then, I'm gonna get the tires on, get everything tightened up there, and then once that's pretty well ready to go for tomorrow, or I don't know, I might rip it around the yard tonight, uh, I'll start back on the YDS 7250 here. All right, take the RD 250 on a test ride on the road a little bit. <laughs>
kind of cut out a little bit and higher RPM for a second, but caught back up. All right, so nice little test ride on the RD250. This thing's got some beans to her. She's not slow, that's for sure. But unfortunately, the points, the heels on the points keep eating away at themselves, or the cam keeps eating away at the points, however you want to look at it. Uh, so I checked the timing gap because uh, my dad tried to ride it and it started bogging on him and not wanting to take off. Uh, so I took the cover off, checked the points gap, and it was like maybe 10 thousandths instead of the 12 to 15 that it's supposed to be. So, yeah, kind of unfortunate. Uh, like I said, I think maybe just the cam that the heel of the points rides on is just maybe got too much surface oxid or rust or pitting or whatever and it's eating away at them uh, so kind of unfortunate but anyway we're gonna swap out the points for electronic ignition system neutronic ignition system that i've been installing on rd 250 or 350 here so i've got this one all set up in time now so basically what will happen is we'll be replacing the cam and the points with these optical pickups here anyway we will be swapping over that style system to the rd250 as well so that there's less mechanical uh, points of failure on that thing uh, we just want a nice reliable bike to ride so that will definitely help with that uh, goal of ours and yeah, that's probably going to do it for this uh, video on the RD250. But if you uh, like the video, if you could hit the thumbs up, that helps me out a lot. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave those down below. And if you think that I earned your subscription today, go ahead and smash on that sub button. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.